Welcome back fans and friends for this upcoming video I have if you aren't quite sure what's coming up in this video well you can probably take a guess at it it is a Chevrolet Corvette and not the classic one these are all the new ones and so I will quickly go over the ones in the background here so we have Hot Wheels we have Matchbox but these are both the basics and then two green lights. So this one here is the more relevant to this video uh, for Sarah, well, just the two major reasons. A, it's a Corvette and B, it does this. While this one, uh, the shell, I believe it is uh, the same casting, but for some unknown reason, the trunk, and I believe this is, I don't know if it's manufacturing, but the way this spoiler is designed, and you can see there, the back here is glued. This does not open, and I don't wish to break it to open it, so it's not going to, to do any of those things. This one here in the background will be doing everything for us. And so basically, getting right to it, this is Matchbox moving parts made with recycled zinc, as you can imagine. We can see there the moving part is the engine deck slash hood, GM vehicle, lifetime, designed for a lifetime metal, and 43 out of 54. So instead of the... Uh, four out of five of these small series they have now gone for the overall series which is nice so this is a 2020 chevrolet corvette and interestingly it says chevy corvette as the metal ones will but the green lights will say chevrolet if that's important too if it's not important to then nobody cares and so they have the spoiler molded into the rear of the deck 3d painted lights as those are as well uh, i do believe no the green lights have inserts for lights they don't have uh 3d effect what's the difference one's made up of ink and one's made up of paint plastic with ink on it so 2020 chevrolet corvette there's matchbox release 46a and it's the super fast which is really weird because they do that leslie super fast slash moving parts they're extremely similar and then we all know here from the sets because of the way it's designed it's probably not for it it's lower to the ground it is a little bit more fragile and not meant to be flung at people or things. And we have it here, all the recycling from Argentina, the UK, and everywhere else. Imports 2022, so it is a last year, not release, but uh, set. So, we're going to get out of its package. And this one, uh, the price went up, uh, which is really interesting because the green lights did not but the Mattel slash Hot Wheels slash Matchbox did. And not just did, because it went from like $1.14 to $1.89. It's almost 60% more. And it has this two-piece clamshell to it, which is insanely more complicated than the green light one. It has to be able made to fold and some other stuff, but you could easily put it back without killing yourself or damaging the car. And so we do have that. So I will give this car that little, you can see there the red, silver, and black for the engine while this one is just plain. So in in terms of that, uh, like I said, this Corvette up here is going to be more directly comparable to the one. Rear view mirrors, the Corvette from Greenlight does not have it. This Matchbox does. Nice and clear and easy to see into the cabin. There's the Corvette symbol, left and right, easily painted. 3D painted lights. Like I said, they're not inserts. They're 3D painted. Uh, like I said, it's really nice and easy to see into the dashboard. The, there's no side windows, so it's easy to see left and through to the right. Just making sure the gas cap is on the same side for all these cars because it would be really weird if they weren't. <coughs> and so we go to the front. One piece there, nice and easy to see. But otherwise, no detail. The standard matchbox type wheels. There's the inlet, like I said, the gas cap. Spoiler is just a molded part to the uh, engine deck hood. You saw there. Lights painted on as well. Uh, the one thing they did do well, very well, and uh, I can't bring to terms with the fact that they either spelled caffeine wrong or the E is just poorly done. Because there should be two Fs, E, I, and E. Anyway, there's the exhausts for the, like I said, these new Corvettes are mid-rear. They are not front engine anymore. And so we go to the bottom of it. And so this is the part where we will compare it to the Mattel versions. So 2021, 2020 Corvette. 
And as I said, they say Chevy instead of Chevrolet, uh, exactly as the one on the left, which is also a Matchbox product. And then the one on the right, which is also a Matchbox product. Unfortunately, the Corvettes that I've done from Hot Wheels are in fact the C7, they're not the C8, so they're not this uh, type of car. But as you can see there, they're almost identical because they're probably from the same factory, just painted a little bit differently. Uh, so there's that. And then uh, finally, the part that I did like the best about this car is the engine. Now, it opens nice and wide, but as you can see there, it looks really nice. You have Corvette written on it. Uh, and it is differentiated and really easy to see. And in fact, this is one of those things where you're not paying us like, okay, so there's 490, which is kind of expensive for this. And, but look, it looks so much nicer. The fact that they have actually gone that extra step and added that. Meanwhile, you look here, this thing here, how much more it is, and it doesn't come with any of that. And because of the way it's painted, it is actually harder to see. So just adjusting for lighting, uh, and we can see there. And also it's weird that, that this gap here, I want to call it a storage bin slash trunk, is completely absent in the Matchbox. Is that a structural thing? I have no idea. But as you can see, Matchbox, uh, in fact, in this case, I think did a better job. Overall, the car is not as nice. It does have the rear view mirrors. I'll give it that. But overall, I mean. And there we have it. Fans and friends, the 2020 Corvette with the opening hood slash engine deck of the moving part series 2022. Like I said, this is a matchbox, not a Hot Wheels, but it's, it, they're all Mattel. And so here we have it, reasonably well done. In fact, better than about three of the three of these four Corvettes, if not equal to that one up there. The engines painted were better, so actually I think this one might be better than that green light. So there we have it. This comes from Toronto, and as we know, it's a it's a Mattel, so it's going to roll for sure. Thanks for watching, and to the next one.